It is written. My Vardenfell. My paradise. A place of ancient mystery. But something evil creeps through my realm. Hiding among the great houses. Or in the Ashlands. Threatening to destroy all we have built. My legacy must endure. Welcome to Morrowind. Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. Now, I'm actually very excited because the Morrowind DLC massive expansion thing came out today for this. And I don't know a lot about it, to be perfectly honest with you. I know they have apparently recreated the land of Morrowind sort of to scale one for one in obviously Elder Scrolls Online. Now I know, obviously, this is an MMO. However, I'm going to treat it like a single player game, so we aren't going to be co-oping with anyone. I'm going to treat this as if I was recording Skyrim or something of that nature. And we're just going to play through the story of the DLC and, uh, you know, any side quests and things that look interesting as we go along. We're just going to venture to have fun. Like I say, I'm actually genuinely excited. I hope this isn't just, you know, a cash grab and sort of taking advantage of people's nostalgia of Morrowind. I recently finished Morrowind myself, for those that don't know, uh, for the first time ever on the channel. And yeah, I really like Morrowind, just uh, kind of super shitty combat. Now, obviously the combat in this isn't great, but it is certainly better. So, without further ado, we're going to jump into creating our character here. I'm going to go with the new class, the Warden, I want to say it's called. I'm not entirely sure. We're not going to be a cat man. The furs will be all over that. So give me a second here. going to make my character. Not going to put too much work into this, but long enough that I am going to cut out most of this, so BRB. And then I'll show you what I've done. Okay, some goddamn time later, this is the ugly bastard of a dark elf that I've made. Uh, yeah, not exactly the most imaginative design. I could have made him look a lot weirder, but I like to make my characters look, you know, somewhat realistic, quote-unquote, considering it's a dark elf and is thus a fantasy character with red eyes, but you get my point. Like, I don't want him to be wearing, like, a clown nose or anything like that. So, anyway, uh, I did pick the Warden. Here's the description. Wardens are defenders of the greed, master storytellers whose nature tells become a magic reality. They wield frost spells against enemies and summon animals to aid them. I like ice spells. If I was a superhero, that's probably the power I'd pick. So I like that. I also like the idea of summoning shit to fight for me. Now, I don't know if this is a good class. It could be imbalanced, could be horrible, could be OP, could be terrible. I really have no idea, but all I know is this is the class that came with the Morrowind expansion thingy Majiga. So now I've got to pick a name. Let's see if Jason McGrizzle, if I spell Grizzle correctly, is taken or not. You have played through a tutorial with a previous character. You may choose to play through it again with Jason McGrizzle or skip it. Uh, I'm going to say we skip it because we have seen it before. If you want to see the previous videos where I played Elder Scrolls Online, I will link those in the video description. If, again, you really want to see the tutorial. It's pretty cool. I do recommend it. But I'm going to vote skip it. Now, I hope this doesn't mess up us playing the Morrowind expansion. Because I want to go straight to that, obviously. So, skip. Name already in use. By me, I'm pretty sure. What about Jason the Grizzled? How about that? Create. Skip. Okay, we are Jason the Grizzled. I'm going to count the load screen because usually these things are long as balls, even though I have this on an SSD. Alright, welcome back. Uh, I did see something pop up saying that Way Shrine to Seydanin discovered. I know Seydanin is in Morrowind, so I'm assuming we have to go to a Way Shrine and travel there to begin it. I don't really know. Also said I have mail, so let's press the page up, I think it is. Yes. Maybe this... Oh, here we go. Invitation to Morrowind. This letter from Canon... Levu of the Tribunal invites you to come to the island of Vardenfell in Morrowind to meet Lord Vivek. You can find Canon Leville outside the town of Sedanine. Right. So, again, how does one travel there? Let's just head outside and see what we can find. First of all, I'm going to rob this man of the soul gem. Also a hat. Uh, I'll take the hat. We can hide our shame. And the dagger. Okay, why is the... Uh, the... what's the hell? The field of view seems tiny. Let me see if I could change that. Give me a second. 
Okay, here we go. I found field of view. Apparently there's on 100. I'm not sure I believe that. Let's put it to like 120. That seems... That seems a lot better. Alright, so uh, we're just going to treat this like we're playing the, the game normally, I guess, until we figure out how to get to... How to get to Cedanine, so... I'm going to rob these halls. I don't remember starting... Well, no, obviously I wouldn't have started here because... I did the tutorial last time. A moonstone, an ingredient for crafting in the Khajiit style. Common candle set design. Sure. I think there is housing in this game now. Uh, the last time I played it, I don't think there was. I know they've done, like, a lot of updates to uh, make the game feel more... You know, more Elder Scrolls-y. Since I last played... Hunter's Pyre Recipe and Nickel. Alright, sweet. So, where does a brother go? So how do I run? Let me check the controls again. One second. Uh, user interface. Blah, blah, blah. All right. I want to know. I want to know how to run. Secondary action is. Wait, that's housing. Well, there you go. There is housing. You know, what, give me a second, because clearly I can't find it. Okay, sorry about that. I had to rebind some of the controls. I figured it remembered what I had before, but I guess because I uninstalled it, it didn't. So let's carry on. I think I can somewhat control my character now. God, things still seem really zoomed in, even though I put the field of view to a 120. Yeah, I don't know. Well, uh, we'll go with this for now. Until it makes me, you know, nauseous. Mag... Manganese? Sure. An agreement of crafting in the Orc style. Gangnam style. Oh, oh. Alright, say... Wait, say... Nee. What? Isn't Satanine Morrowind? I'm pretty... Uh, this looks like Morrowind to me. Maybe they start this in Morrowind. What the hell is this? Is this this dude's mounts and stuff? Who the hell are you? Hello? You look kind of cool. You look like a witch doctor. I want to be a witch doctor. There ain't no clan fear. That's a clan fear. What's this thing? It's a nice pussy you got there. Alright. Um, so, I think we're in Morrowind. What if I open up the map? Yeah, Vivex down there. Okay, so we are in Morrowind. Okay, cool. Well, that works. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh, shit. What was that he had? That looked like a flaming horse. It was badass. You're, none of you are NPCs, right? So, aren't we supposed to meet with a dude? What was our... Hang on, let's check the mail. Okay, so... Invite you... So we're looking for Canon Levul. How did my two hand increase? What? What'd I do? Uh, outside the town of Sedanin. So he's outside the town of Sedanin. It's probably this quest marker here. That person has a scamp. Adorable. Is it you? Are you Levul? Please! No. Someone... We need help! Well, hang on, I'm looking for the dude I'm supposed to be speaking to. Maybe it's this guy over here. We'll find them eventually, I swear. A lot of people seem to be going in this building. Maybe that's important. Do they show up on the map? Hmm. Bear with me, bear with me. I'm trying to remember and, in fact, learn how to... God, that horse looks so cool! And learn how to play the game. I think I have a mount. What button was it on? H? Uh... Did that call my mount? Hello? Hello? I mean, he's whistling. I, I think I should have a horse, or at least a basic bitch horse. Screw it, let's talk to this person for now. There's an armager injured on the road outside Sedanine. So much blood! They, they need help! Alright, calm down, darling. Tell me what happened. I'm not exactly sure. The buoyant armager was accompanying Canon Valasa on a mission for Lord Vivek, but something terrible must have happened. Canon Valasa sent me to find help. She's on the road just outside of Sedanine. Will you help them? Is that not the person I'm supposed to be looking for? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it, yeah. I need to double check. That was their name, right? Yeah. No, Canon Levul. Okay, so they're still Canon, but different kind of Canon. Well, let's go help this person, and maybe we'll find out where the other one is. Yeah, you sweep, baby, you sweep. Can I talk to you? Do mind the guar. Isn't country life grand? It's like I'm right back at home in Cyrodiil. Aside from the giant fungi and adorable lizard chickens, of course. Cyrodiil, Major's Guild. What's an Imperial like you doing in a small town like Vardenfell? That's not small at all. That's not a town. God damn, I son of a bitch. Do you mind Try that again. Running away from the war on the mainland, of course. More and more arrive each season. The new blood sends some dark elves into fits, but they agreed on shared borders when they signed the pact. Fair enough then. Alright, let's go help this person. Now, obviously, I'm level one or zero, whatever the hell it is. The great houses and their use. There you go, you wanna read that? Be my guest. I will go through the pages for you. 
You really used a whole page, a whole two pages to write in. That's a waste of paper. As my maths teacher would say, the twees are groaning in the Wayne Forest. She couldn't pronounce her R's, bless her. All right, so, hello. Forgive me, Outlander, but I have enough to deal with. I'm just a simple tribunal priest, and the trouble at the ancestral tomb was too much for even tomb. our buoyant armager to deal with. I have failed, Lord Vivek, and left a colleague alone at the tomb. Sounds like you have, yeah. What happened to the ancestral tomb? Lord Vivek sent the three of us to seek guidance at the Andrano ancestral tomb. We were attacked when we got there, and our guard was seriously hurt. I barely got her to safety. But we failed to complete the mission Lord Vivek bestowed upon us. Three of you? You mentioned another priest. Canon Levoul. He remained behind after we retreated from the tomb. I know he wants to get back inside and ask Lord Vivek's questions. But there's no way he can get past the Daedra or ask the questions on his own. May the three grant him wisdom. You're not going to believe this. I still can't remember if Lavul is the person we're supposed to be speaking to to start this main quest. I think it is, right? Yeah, because you're Canon Velisa. So, this is the guy we're looking for? Sure. Alright, I can go to the tomb and help Canon Lavul. Was what I even saying it correctly? What's wrong? Yeah, Lavul. Okay, Someone cool. Help. Wait, By what? The three. First a wounded armager, now this. By dawn and dusk, evil creeps through Is the that? shadows of my beloved Vardenfell. But an outlander arrives to aid my people, just as I have foreseen. Those words, what do they mean? What? What happened? Mercy well, clearly she was Azura. possessed by Azura. The mother soul spoke through you. It's a miracle. Hmm. Indeed, it appears to be. Alright, that was very cool. Did everyone around see that? I don't know. Everyone's gathering here. There's a lot of people here. I guess the DLC did just come out. Alright, so clearly I need to bind something real quick so that we can actually interact with other players. Not that I really care that much, but let me do that because it's going to bug me just seeing, like, not bound pop up on the screen. Going to fix that really quick, and then we will carry on. I also might turn down the voice volume because it was blowing out my eardrums. Alright, has been fixed. I keep thinking, I, you know, I keep forgetting that I'm playing an MU like so cool. Look at you and your Daedric. I keep forgetting that I'm playing an MMO and I keep going to press F5 to quick save. I think I'm now quick saving in this game. Alright, so I still wish I knew how to like get my horse working. Alright. Working out of what I went to live in. Something else, it's all taken and I'm giving and then. Why do we have two map markers, by the way? What's up with that? Uh. Let's check. It's Canon Valisar. This is the tomb that we're going. Andrano Ancestral Tomb. I think I remember the name of that from, uh, you know, obviously from Morrowind. Oh, okay, hang on. So is this just more stuff that I could say to you? Because if so, I guess we may as well. Yeah, yeah, you're highlighted. Okay. What else you got to say? Lord Vivek, protect me. That was Azura, the queen of the night sky. And you, she spoke directly to you, Outlander. Well, I am quite I'm important. surprised the Daedric Prince would risk Lord Vivek's wrath to proclaim a prophecy. But she did say you were here to aid us. That's right, baby. I'm the main character. One of many. Pleased to meet you. What just happened here? The Daedric Prince Azura possessed that woman and spoke through her. I've heard of such occurrences, of course. But to witness such an event... She said evil creeps through the land. I wonder if it has anything to do with what we saw at the tomb. Eever! Tell me about your mission at the tomb. We sought guidance in a matter that concerns Lord Vivek. I received specific questions to ask while Levul concentrated on summoning his ancestor. The Daedra ruined those plans when they fell upon Unsi and we were forced to flee. There was Unsi. Daedra? What are those? <laughs> Vile creatures from oblivion. Great game. You hear about an odd ghost or a nest of vampires, but never Daedra. Please, if they're still there, they'll rip Canon Levul apart. Yeah, we should He's hurry. He's definitely not a warrior. Just look at what they did to the buoyant armager. Are you call buoyant because you're like a lizard person? If so, touche. What's a buoyant armager? The buoyant armagers Armager. comprise one Armagers. of the military orders of the Tribunal Temple. 
They seek to emulate Lord Vivek's deeds through actions and words. Poor Ornsi. Those monsters went straight for her. Her blood flowed like lava from Red Mountain. What's Red Mountain? It's the giant mountain in the middle of Morrowind. Where are you from? Children learn of Red Mountain before they even taste Flynn. The mountain sits at the Flynn center of Vardenfell, periodically rumbling like a sleeping Nyx shaking its leg. Lately, however, it seems to be waking from its long slumber. And a Nyx is an enemy. A Nyx hound. I'm going to keep doing that and be really annoying. No, I'm not. All right, so tell me about Azura. Azura is the cruel but wise Daedric Prince of Dawn and Dusk. She's one of the good Daedra, for what that's worth. But for her to speak through an innocent means something terrible is about to happen. Why else would she dare Lord Vivek's wrath? Lord Vivek and Azura don't get along? What do they teach you where you come from? Apparently nothing. Lord Vivek's a living god! Azura is merely the anticipation of Sophocle. Vivek stands as the present and the future, while Azura clearly represents Vardenfell's past. So no, they don't get along. Who's Lord Vivek? Is he the, uh, the bald god dude who, you know, resides in the, uh, whatever the hell it's called, some kind of chamber in Vivek itself, the city? You don't know Lord Vivek, one of the living gods of the Dunma Tribunal. You must be new to our land, Outlander. But there's no time. Canon Levool remain behind. He needs help if he's going to get inside the tomb and ask Vivek's questions. But, uh, but yeah, I will try and uh, explain as we're going along little bits about the Morrowind lore and the game itself and how this relates and blah 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 if the game isn't all that clear where I can. Because again, I did very recently, I'm talking like a couple of months ago, finish the entirety of Morrowind again for the first time. Great game. Though combat shitty. Uh, Vivek's a living god? Yes. One of the god monarchs of Morrowind. He's the warrior poet who lives in a grand palace in Vivek City. Lord Vivek sent us on this holy mission to request information from Canon Levool's ancestor. It breaks my heart that I have failed him. Breaks my heart too, baby. You suck. Alright. Now, here's the question. With all of these people around who are clearly real players, can I teabag this person? And will they... I mean, I guess they should see it, right? I don't know why that amuses me so much. But anyway, are you actually a lizard person? You totally are. Yeah, that's gotta be why you've got, like, boy in your name. Alright, so anyway, we know where we're going. So let's go do it, shall we? Look at you and your beautiful horse. Do you like my horse, horse? Oh, wait, that's a different song entirely. Can I catch the butterfly? Oh, I can. Yeah, insect parts. Bait for fishing. Ooh. Never actually tried fishing last time I played this game. I, I usually love fishing in video games. That was my favorite thing to do in RuneScape. RuneScape's nether in the middle. I can't let Lord Vivek down. Those monsters, it, it's too dangerous. What am I going to do? Sean Connery, is that you? All right, seriously, the voices are kind of loud for me. One second, audio, voices. Yeah, I mean, they are on 100 compared to everything else is on like 20. It's been on like 80. That should be, uh, should be a lot more reasonable. Hello. I said did hello. Did send you? Oh, she did, didn't she? That means she made it to say to Neen. Vivek, be praised. Will you help me complete my mission? It would be sacrilege if I don't enter my family's tomb and make Lord Vivek's inquiries. I know you're not, but you do sound a bit like Sean Bean. Good old Sean Bean. I'll help you out of the tomb and ask your questions. As the saints declare, the tribunal always provides. We'll need Doggy. to be cautious, however. Daedra invaded the tomb. Makes it hard to talk to one's ancestors while monsters tried to eat you. I'll also need your help the when crib. we reach the summoning chamber. Alright, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Uh, what kind of help? Take this scroll with Lord Vivek's inquiries. While I summon forth my ancestor spirit and concentrate on maintaining the connection, you must ask the questions. He insists we use the exact phrasing. We can go inside when you're ready. I'd like to ask a few more questions. I'm gonna get my goddamn money's worth. I have already lost precious time due to the buoyant armager's wounds, but I suppose a few more moments won't make the volcano erupt or the moonlit fall from the sky or anything. <sighs> what else can I tell you, my friend? Why does Lord Vevek want you to contact your ancestor? I'm not quite sure and it wasn't my place to ask. When your living god gives you a task, you say, Yes, my lord. Touché. The questions seem to involve the time before the tribunal. 
which I assume is why we must ask them of my long dead ancestor. Tell me about your ancestor. A few of my contemporaries can boast of a luminary such as Farina Andrino occupying a prime branch upon their family tree. I think I remember that name. Lady Farina studied at the feet of Sothisil and was counted among his companions before the tribunal rose to power. I can't remember if Elder Scrolls Online is set before or after Morrowind. Like, I legitimately can't remember. I think it's before? I think it's like 500 years before the events of Skyrim or something like that. So who's Sothisil? Who so the seal? <laughs> it's like asking who are Vivek and Almalexia. They are the tribunal, the living gods of the Dunmer. So the seal is the architect of time and the binder of oblivion. If you want to know more, we can talk after we've finished. Didn't I kill Almalexia? I'm pretty sure I did. Tell me about the creatures. Well, I can tell you why they weren't here the last time I paid my respects. Canon Valasa thinks they're some kind of Daedra, determined to keep us from fulfilling Lord Vivek's will. Until you showed up, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Kick ass and chew bubblegum. But he's all out of gum. I'm ready, let's do this, baby. Before we go in there and face those monsters, I want you to know how much I appreciate your aid in this matter. Just you don't better. lose the scroll that contains Lord Vivek's questions. Now come, let's call forth my ancestor. I'll open the tomb door. I don't know what that weird-looking dog thing is with the gold plate any on it, but I want one. Lead the way. <gasps> a black panther. Follow me, but keep an eye out for those Daedra. You're an Argonian. Okay, I can face through him. Hello, fellow Dark Elf. How's it going? I am standing awkwardly close to you. Wow, you are huge. Alright, in we go. Boop. Andrano Ancestral Tomb. The prominent Andrano family has been among the leading Everyone, members of House the Redoran something. As soon as we enter the Hall of Remembrance. Press H to mount up. Look, there are other dudes here. Get out of here. Right, there could be traps and things. How do I attack? Alright, we've got, like, basic bitch gear, so... You know. Uh, I don't know how we use our abilities. I genuinely do not. Wait a minute. Did I just do a tactical roll? Is that just me? I have a status effect. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we fighting here? What's going on? There's people freaking everywhere, man. Balance. You like... Can I take this helmet? Yes, I can. Alright, how do we equip said things? Good question. Crush to equip the item. Right click when selected item to view more. Okay. Let's put that bad boy. I'm pressing cross. Your game. Whoa, that's a big ass helmet. Alright, is this better one I have? I have a Dishonored Slaver's Greatsword. It's marginally worse, actually. Alright. Uh, we could put that on. We do have an iron dagger, which is crap. Alright, let's put the gauntlets on. How do okay, double clicking it works. I don't know about this whole like pressing cross thing. Well, look, strong box. Why? It's your strong box. For some reason, things seem like you might never see it again. It's heavier than you remember, though. Okay, I open it. I've got a bunch of stuff. I got a bow and some uh, some pants. Can I put the pants on from here? I don't think so. Use quick slots. So oh, Jesus Christ! I'll probably read most of this later. I'm being shot, aren't I? Yep, definitely being shot. Definitely, uh, definitely being shot. You are. Can someone give me a hand here? Yeah, help me out, bear man. Well, you can mount in the tomb? That's so cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alright, see if we can hide over here for a second. I'm, I'm equipping stuff. Leave me alone. The contact? I don't care about contacts. We're playing this like a single player game, although people are helping me. So can I equip this as like... You said I can equip it as like a set. Should have paid attention, shouldn't I? Mm-hmm. Yep. Should have paid attention. Alright, where are my pants? There they are. Let's put those bad put those bad boys. Alright, we got no chest piece, I don't think. Actually we can totally check on we just got our armor. Yeah. Oh we have that. Yeah. Yeah, that's significantly better than what we were wearing. Alright, we look absolutely terrible, but damn it. This is what you get. Yeah, I think we're gonna roll with the bow for now. I don't know exactly what we're gonna go with on this character. I mean obviously summoning an ice spells. Crafting motif, Dark Elf style. Used to learn the Dark Elf crafting style requires rank 1 of any other metalworking, tailoring, or woodcutting passives. Already in your library, probably because I'm a Dark Elf. Guess we can sell that? I don't know. Beats the shit out of me. Oh god. Help me! Save me, magical man. You seem way stronger than I am. 
Yeah, get dunked on. Was that about like exploit or something? Something popped up then. I don't know. I should probably. Oh god! I swear I'm doing like rolls and I don't know how. Uh, yeah. I also really don't know how to use my other abilities. Like, surely I have some. Hmm. One second, I'm gonna check that as well. Yeah, this is like it's on, it's on the number keys. I mean, normally you think they would appear like at the bottom, right? Yet I don't see it. So you were trapped. Mm, can't knock it down, so probably not. So that, that's blocking, I guess. Right, so I think right click is to block. Makes sense to me. Iron girdle. So it's for the waist. Yeah, get out of here! It's my girdle. I'm assuming the loot is, uh, you know, individual. Yeah, I'll look at that. It's like a little belt buckle. Skill line gained heavy armor. Uh, if anyone is actually a player of this and wants to explain things to me as I'm going along, would be very, very handy, because Christ in a handbasket. This seems overly complex. Like, I don't know what the hell that just meant. I have no idea. Yeah, I think I was doing a tactical roll at some point. I don't know how. But whatever. Everyone seems to have left without us. It's not like we're here with them anyway. Yeah, rawhide winner. Rawhide! So can I work? Yeah, okay, so that's going to replace the girdle. So less armor. Increasing inspiration gain from deconstruction of this item. Blah, blah, blah. So it's not worth wearing, but it seems like it's good to deconstruct. I don't know. It's green, though. You're right there, but... Is that a player? Are you dead? Did you die? You suck. I'll help you, buddy. Wait, that's your scan. Never mind. I won't help you at all. See, that's the only thing, really, is, um... Obviously, being an MMO, we're gonna go into tombs like this, and sometimes there's other people that are just gonna simply take care of the, uh, the combat for us. At least I would imagine so. Especially since it just came out. It's gonna be very busy. But honestly, I'm not that, not that concerned about that. I got a jerk in. Alright, hang on. I feel like that's like a... You, never mind. You make something very dirty out of that. Alright, so it's... Less armor. And yet it feels like it should be more. What's up with that? I don't even know. But yeah, I don't know. There's, obviously, enemies seem to just respawn, unlike in an Elder Scrolls game. Like you saw when we were back in that main room, they just keep popping up, so... Yeah. Exactly. Prime example, right there. Let's take on these fuckers. This might be a horrible idea. I fully accept that. But, uh... Oh, God. I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, Jesus. What the, what the hell even are you? Alright, you need to die, sir. Skill line gained bow. Oh, that tank's a roll. It's pretty sweet. Oh, tanky as hell. So can I not switch weapons? I mean, clearly I can. Oh, Jesus. Right. So if I press both buttons together, I can interrupt. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. One of these red things, man. Oh! Alright, thank God that guy had it handled. Two gold. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Buddy, come back. I might need your help. Oh, never mind. There's a dude right here. Get clubbed, son. I'm leaving. What the hell happened to you? No, but seriously, what happened to you? You're like a zombie. What's the matter, buddy? Too far out of your cup of zone, you little bitch. Get dunked on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this person who looked like they've been made of stone is dead. Can you help me? Okay, I think this person is helping me. I guess we might have to kill the, uh... Oh, do we have to kill this dude? He seems like a boss, maybe? Not entirely sure. Though, we fought a mage that was just like this. What are we looking for in here? There seems to be a dead end, right? Maybe we can go in another chamber or something that I missed. Yeah, God, this bow is kind of crap. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Alright, so... Let's try switching back to our weapon. Yeah, we'll go with this for now. Might be a bit more effective. I don't know. Anything good? No, no you don't. Alright, we can loot this chest. Oh god. Let's do that. Argonian snakes on a rope. I've had it with these goddamn snakes on this goddamn rope. Amethyst. Or amethyst. I don't know how you say it. I don't really care. Right, wait a minute. Where the hell are we going? Let's open the map. We're going over there, clearly. Alright, so that in front of us is a dead end. That seems to have no purpose other than combat. And I don't see anyone around here to help me. So, I'm a little worried I'm going to get clobbered. But I say we give it a try. Leroy 
Jenkins! Here I come to save the day! Yeah. Yeah. Alright, what are you buffing these dudes? Stop buffing these dudes. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I think you might be buffing them. Please do not buff people. Do not appreciate it. Holy shit. How do we heal as well? We must have like potions and stuff, right? I'm taking a lot of damage. A lot of yeah, a lot of damage. This man is just perpetually exploding on me. Alright, we need to leave. Oh, we're dead. Cool. Alright, E to revive here. Auto revive at the way shrine. Recent damage, yep. Uh, let's just revive here since we can. So I had a feeling that was gonna happen. So we need to be better about this. Who the hell are you? Hello. Oh, you're the guy who's with me. Have you been here the whole time? No, he hasn't. Or has he? I don't know. We, let's leave that corner for now, because we're clearly outmatched. We're weak as balls at the moment. Now, again, it does seem to somewhat scale to your level, because, you know, this obviously isn't endgame content, though I think you can play we're as endgame there. content. Man, which is kind of cool. We are nearly there. If you could help, Jason. Jason would really appreciate that. I'm really bad at timing the blocking. I don't know exactly how well you have to time it. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure. Can you even dodge away? Oh, she slowed me down. Can you even dodge away from enemies like you can in uh, something like Skyrim? Like if I back up if she, as she's attacking, is it still going to connect with me? I don't know. Then again, that kind of happens in Skyrim anyway. The hitboxes are janky as hell to say the least. The point is we survived. I don't know where the, where the hell he went. Yeah, there's something I'm doing where I'm like... Yeah, okay, if I double tap a direction, I do a tactical roll. That seems extremely the handy. Summoning chamber. I'll call forth my ancestor, then you can ask Vivek's questions. Alright, don't worry, we got this discount Sean Bean. Almost called you discount Sean Connery, don't tell anyone. Yeah, tactical roll. Yeah. Alright, at least now we know we've got a dodge. I have been disturbed enough by those filthy Daedra. Why do you summon me, descendant? My Lord Vivek has inquiries that only you can answer, my lady. My companion will present them with your permission. The warrior poet? Very well. Ask Vivek's questions. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Let me very quickly make sure that there is no way of putting on general subtitles. Uh, apparently they're off. Alright then. Don't know why that was like that, but at least we fixed it. Ask the warrior poet's question, Miss Outlander. Lord Vivek asks, The heart of the world, key to ascension, should I be filled with apprehension? Ah, Lord Vivek always had a way with words. Tell him to rest assured. The heart remains sealed. I wonder why that concerns him. Ask the remaining questions as my time here is short. Lord Vivek said, yo, as the enemy of old returned so devious and bold. An enemy of old, yes. But not the one that Vivek presumes. He also said, did Sothasil in his unending crusade know our, divi our divinity would shrivel and fade? Sothasil imagined multiple scenarios and contemplated endless solutions. He even experimented with his divinity, drawing energy to study before returning it. Loss will come, he foresaw, but not until the collapse of the temple. Now, back to sleep. Roses are red, violets are blue. Uh, screw you. I hope that's what Lord Vivek needed. Let's talk outside. Okay, let us talk outside! Is this a shortcut back? I don't know. Is there gonna be enemies here to beat the crap out of me? Okay, is a shortcut back. Good. Ooh. Booty. Booty. And more. Booty. Yeah, where the hell are my, like, abilities? You know, like, my cooldown abilities, like, shooting ice, summoning a bear, something like that. Maybe we just don't get them yet until we do this quest or something. I don't know. That's another thing that would be very handy if anyone could explain to me exactly what the hell I'm doing wrong. Because clearly I don't have any right now. Because that's supposed to be on, you know, like, one, two, three, four, five. Those keys don't do anything, so... And I'm pretty sure... 
I vaguely remember last time I played this, when I got an ability, it would pop up and be like, you can now do this. Hasn't done that, so... Maybe we just haven't leveled up enough. It yeah, actually, look at your Dweema spider. That's that's cool looking as hell, man. I like that design. Kind of tempted to go dive in the water. Wait a minute. Your mind, bitch! I can't remember what these things are called. Oh, that's right, a lit. It's totally lit! <laughs> exploit, exploit! Get exploited, son! Alright. We destroyed the crap out of him. That's cool. Okay, so the, the combat is actually more in-depth than it is in Skyrim. Though that's not saying much. But still. Well, don't you look like a badass. Look at you with your little blindfold and everything. Yeah. Don't you look like a bla blad- yeah, a bladass. Hello. Thank you for helping me complete my task. Now, I need to return to Vivek City. Have you been there? <laughs> it's amazing. Ziggurats rising out of the water, the moonlit hanging in the sky above. Hey, you should meet me there, so I can introduce you to Lord Vivek. Look at I Don't know what a ziggurat is. There's actually a game called Ziggurat, which is kind of like a first-person, sort of, meiji roguelite type of thing. Randomly generated, procedurally generated. Played that once or twice. Don't know what a ziggurat means. Anyway, uh, did you understand what your ancestors told us? Because, frankly, I did not. <sighs> Just between us, I understood neither the questions asked nor the answers received. You and me both. Not that I expected you. Some things aren't meant for mortal minds. That's another reason for you to come to Vivek City. To help me explain what my ancestors said. I can help recount what happened here. Excellent. Uh, I just need to make a quick stop in Seydanin to check on my original traveling companions. When you get to Vivek City, head right to the palace and I'll meet you there. I know that Lord Vivek will want to reward you for assisting me. Sweet, I'll meet you in Vivek City. I'll be along shortly. Yes. When you get to Vivek City, head directly for Lord Vivek's palace. Once there, I'll make introductions and we can tell the warrior poet everything we've learned. You said I could ask you more about the tribunal after we finished your mission. Of course. As I said, the tribunal consists of our three living gods, Vivek, Armalexia, and Sothisil. They lead us in spiritual matters and rule over Dunmere society as god monarchs of the Dark Elves. I serve Vivek, but honor the entire tribunal. Do all Dark Elves for the Tribunal? I mean, I'm a Dark Elf, so... You'd think I'd know, but no. Unfortunately, no. The Dunmer houses bow to the Tribunal, but the savage Ashlanders refuse to acknowledge their divinity. The heretics never allowed themselves to be assimilated into the Great Houses. Instead, they hold to primitive superstitions. Very superstitious! Brightens on the wall! Well, hello. How you doing? All right, let's uh, let's go over here. Take it. Yoink! You belong to me now, me. So I want to see if I could. Uh, well, first of all, it's muck this crap. Muck crap. Disgusting creatures. Eh. All right, give me that sweet, sweet. Well, it's not muck crab meat, but raw. Hide. Now, can I beat you up and just can I loot you that way? Son of a. No, I can't. Okay, good to know. Is that a niche? What the hell is that? What are you? Is that a plant? Yo, what am I looking at? What did you just kill? Is he got a scarecrow mask from Batman? Dude, I want that. Is that a mud crab? Oh, a shroom beetle. I was gonna say, is that a mud crab with like mushrooms on its back? No, that's freaking Paras, the Pokemon. Okay, anyway, uh, so let's have a look. Vivek is here, isn't it? Yes, it's the very bottom. And that's Red Mountain right there. Why is that? No, I guess it's not. I thought that was like a key symbol at first. That's like a big-ass, like, hollowed-out crab. I remember that as well. Oh, memories, even though it wasn't that long ago. So I say, yeah, screw it. Let's just head to uh, head to Vivek. Go have a chat there. Uh, I don't know what that was, but it was kind of freaky. Oh, is a... oh God, is that a cliff racer? Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, anyway, so we'll head to Vivek and go have a chat with him, and we'll probably end the first episode after that. Can you pick up these mushrooms? You bastard. Thank you. Another elite. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, I, uh, I'm still just kind of confused, like, why we don't seem to have any abilities. You'd think they'd at least give us one. River Troll. Ooh, you are gonna be... You're gonna be a tough lad, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. 
I have maybe made a horrible mistake. Ooh. 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 Yeah, we don't want to be inside that. Very superstitious. Dragons on the wall. Hey, club it, son. Yeah. I want to see if I can beat him, but this is going to be a close fight either way. Oh, okay. God. He hits so hard. Like, genuinely so freaking hard. Nope. What's he doing? Is he restoring HP? He is! Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> I see ya! <laughs> Help me! Save me, you dickhead! I see you over there. Double tap. Yeah, okay. That's right. I forgot about the dodge. Thank you for reminding me, game. What is that? That's a plant. Okay. Gimme, gimme. I must have been chased. I should probably check that. Whoa, 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 whoa! You're chasing me. You're not half as scary as that troll man. Okay. Let's take advantage. Club it, son! Wait, what? Oh, because it's out of its aggro range. Lame. Super lame. He was about to die. Alright, whatever. Oh, look at you. It's a little, little, it's a little mini gua. Apparently a pony gua. Oh, I'm not going to kill that. It's fucking adorable. Are you kidding me? I'm becoming soft in my old age. There was a day when I would have murdered that thing. Alright, yoink. <laughs> look at you running along with your map. Why does everyone have this? Is this like a pre-order bonus for getting the Morrowind DLC? It's a dog! I just realized it's a dog. I don't know which breed of dog that is, but it's a breed of dog. Wearing armor. Um, it's probably some way of me seeing what I have. I don't know. Uh, if someone could let me know how I check that sort of thing. Let's try and summon a horse again. Oh, there you go. Now it's working. Alright. This quest bloody everywhere. I love it. I do want to just uh, carry on with the main quest a little tiny bit more before we go searching out other quests, though. I don't know why my armor stuff's leveling up. Is it just because I'm finding locations and that's giving me XP, maybe? I don't know. We should probably grab this way shrine as well. Grab the way shrine. Beautiful. B E A. Beautiful. Yeah. Am I even going the right way? Yes. Okay, so all the way down there. Yeah, Vivek is the biggest city in Morrowind. I assume that's still the case. I don't see why it wouldn't be. This looks very different from the Vivek that I remember. Again, I think this is set like 500 years before or something. I mean, it still has these big sections. Oh, God. But other than that, it does seem... Definitely significantly different. That looks very much the same as I remember, though. Is that... Yeah, it's a real player. Okay. Love the music, man. It's so good. Is that a kitty? Do you have a kitty? I want a kitty. Nimir. Hold to indirect. Shift. Can I... Oh, this is a person. Okay. I want to interact with his cat, man. Or her cat. I think I can, can I? Alright, we're wasting time. Let's keep going. Yeah! Wait, is there... Can I speed up the horse or is this just it? Yeah, okay. It's just... It's got a sprint. Dude, this is so cool. Look at that! It's actually a really nice looking game. I mean, it's not like graphically demanding, but the lighting and stuff is really good. Like, you can't deny that looks good. Like, you, if, you, if, you, if you say that, it doesn't, you're lying. Just just get the other one out there, right? How do I leave my horse? Okie dokie. Hello! He doesn't want to speak. All right, then. Let's go have a chat with Vivek himself, shall we? The big cheese. Man, that loaded instantly. What up with that? This a is lot the of bloody person people who helped here. me at the tomb, my lord. Lord Vivek, we don't need the help of this outlander. Oh, hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness. Yeah, damn, I'm trying to look. Intrigues me. Is that Seamus? As you Is that say, Seamus from WWE? I'll be in my office if you need me. This is so Head cool. Forward, friend of Lavoo. And let us speak. Ahoy, matey. Canon Level says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. Despite the Arch Cannon's concerns, I greet you with sincerity and pose a simple question. Will you assist us further, Outlander? Goodbye. No, I bought the DLC, came all the way here just to be like, nah, fuck it. What kind of help do you need, buddy? I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, is a fresh perspective. 
Will you set aside your personal goals for a time and become the eyes and ears of a god? Hell yes! Good. I need assistance to investigate a strange phenomenon that the ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple divination ritual. Archcanon Tarvis can tell you what we need to delve into this mystery. Wait, why don't I think he wants my help? The situation that troubles me has taken a toll on my Archcanon. But he's oh, the guy a next to him. Servant. Okay, yeah. Tarvis will do as I say. And I say we need your assistance. Find the Archcanon in his office, and he'll tell you how to proceed. I don't know why I completely spaced just then and forgot that it was the guy right next to me. I'm bad with names. When I first arrived, I saw a vision of Azura. She looked pretty good. The Daedric Prince. Just saying, I tapped that ass. I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura. Though she could just as easily be the source of these troubles. Red Mountain. Strange Daedra. And then there's... Well, we'll talk more about that when you return. Was what the ancestor said helpful? I certainly hope so. Levul's ancestor assured me that a source of power remains safe. As for the rest, let the guests ripen in the mind, and only speak when the fruit grows certain. I require more information on these matters, hence the need for the divination ritual. Goodbye! So what do we do now? That is a great ass question. The journal, I know, blah 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 blah. Talk to Arch Kenner Tarvis. Alright, we gotta to speak to Tarvis. Wasn't he like right next to this guy? It's pointing me outside. I guess he's outside now. Let's go. Wait, what is that? It's a monkey! Alright, that's cool. A lot of cool pets in this game. What can I say? I'm a sucker for uh, pets and cosmetic things. Like I really am. Uh, where are we going? Okay, it's just down there. Alright. Let's go chat with him. We'll probably end it after that. Don't know how long it's gonna take. I'm trying not to make these episodes too, too long. I want to keep them sort of around the 45 minute mark. We're at an hour right now, but I did spend about 15 minutes making my character, so mm, we're probably closing in on an hour after this. Which is still a little bit too long, but it's the first episode. What do you want from me? Like I say, in the future, I'm going to try and keep them to about 45 minutes, but I can't make any promises. Hello! Ah, Outlander. Lord Vivek trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you. But who am I to question my god? I suppose he sent you to me so I could put you to work? Did he say which task he wants us to accomplish first? No, but let me just point out. You sound evil as shit, and you don't want me to help him. You are clearly working with the bad guys. Lord Vivek said he needed to perform a divination ritual. Ah, yes. We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the... phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Now listen closely. I hate to repeat myself. I'm listening. Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help, so I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction and tell the overseer that Lord Vivek requires the Blessing Stone. Then bring it to me in the palace. I'll go to the unfinished ziggurat. Get the Blessing Stone and meet you at Vivek's Palace. You receive a simple errand in the service of Lord Vivek, and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well. Go ahead. Ask your questions. It's not like I'm the busy arch cannon of a living god or anything. <laughs> yes, Quaid. So what is this Blessing Stone exactly? I'd like to know. Ah, the ignorance of outlanders. How refreshing. I like you. The Blessing Stones serve as repositories for small amounts of Lord Vivek's power. They allow his favor to permeate sanctified locations. We need such a stone to power the divination ritual. Wait. Repositories? Does he... Does, does he like stick, and, stick him up his ass? Is that what you mean? I don't know. I think it's what he means. Can't believe it. It's probably suppository, not repository. Anyway, can't Vivek perform the ritual without the Blessing Stone? If you haven't guessed yet, the phenomenon interferes with Lord Vivek's power in unusual ways. It will be safer for everyone if I perform the ritual by using the Blessing Stone instead of drawing on my Lord's personal store of energy. What does Lord Vivek hope to learn from the divination ritual? That's a bloody good question. 
Even if I told you, you wouldn't comprehend it. Dick. Lord Vivek's senses eclipse those of mere mortals. Suffice it to say, he feels a disturbance in the flow of energy throughout Vardenfell. Disturbance he in the force. He seeks to discover the source of that disturbance. Alrighty, I will probably ask these questions next time. For now, I am gonna end the episode here. That's a bloody fox! What does the fox say? Anyway, I am really enjoying this so far. I mean, you, you know, it's an MMO. Would I prefer this wasn't? Yes, probably, but... Has it really affected us? Not really. We've had a couple of people help us with a bit of combat. Who really cares? Anyway, thank you all for watching. Especially since this is the first episode of a new series, if you could click the like button if you actually enjoyed the episode, by all means. If you didn't enjoy it, feel free not to. But if you did, clicking the like button will help to promote the video and thus share it with more people. So that more people can find my channel and the series itself, so you would be helping me out a great deal. Also, feel free to leave me a comment, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Feel free to give me tips and whatnots. Thank you, everybody, and good night. Outro! Hello everyone, thank you for watching the video, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you can either support me by clicking the like button, or if you're feeling especially generous, you can head over to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash LP. And speaking of Patreon, these are the guys in the $10 plus tier this month. We have Don Lobo, Arctic Stoat, Billy Nine, Dr. Pepper Penguin, Philip Rep, aka Bebop56210, Grandpa Gus, Source of Success, Hitbox, Waffle Ball, Alaric Tower, Pedro Marquez, Rasmus, Chronix, and KP Shadow Squirrel. Again, thank you to all of those, and thank you to everybody else. It means a great deal. It really does. And I will see you next time. Goodbye!